Hello, and welcome to week 12 and a summary of the things you need to focus on. The majority of this week you will spend doing section 7.5, so let's just jump down there, trigonometric equations. Watch all three videos, and I have a whole separate section of videos if you need, but there will also be videos attached to each homework section. I mean each homework problem. And there are a bunch of homework problems, so be prepared to spend quite a bit of time on this section. It's super important. All right, now let's back up. Section 7.2 is not super important, but you should know about the sum and difference formulas. The videos in this section are pretty long and they involve proofs, and so you might just want to jump to your homework and, and watch the videos that are attached to each homework problem. You do not need to memorize the identities from this section, and what I mean by that is there will be formulas for sine A plus or minus B and cosine of A plus or minus B. You do not need to memorize those formulas, but we will need to reference them to do the homework. Section 7.3 is double angle and half angle. Now, for the half angle formulas, the ones I'm having you memorize in your trig identity handout are different from the ones you're going to have to do use in your homework. So the, they're the same identity, it's just a different form. So you're going to want to use these in your homework, and you can watch the videos to see how to use them. You really won't have to memorize these until you get to calculus. And when you get to calculus, we won't be using this form down here. We'll be using this form because we'll be differentiating and integrating. And so you can kind of hold off on the memorization of those two if you want for now. What you really should focus on if you need to memorize, well, you do need to memorize, um, you should focus on memorizing these, and paramount is the double angle for sine. Sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. You will not be able to get through the course, this course, without memorizing that one. Now, really there are only two here to memorize because these two come for free by using the Pythagorean identity. So notice that there are three here for cos 2 theta, but if you can memorize this one here, then you'll be able to use the Pythagorean identity to get these two. And you will need um, both of these to solve the trigonometric equations in section 7.5. Not all of them, but a few of them. Okay, and that is, that's it for the summary of week 12.